capsule wardrobe fashion but looking at it from a fresh perspective for 2024. Something that we all need to be doing right now, especially if we want to be making better purchases, wiser investments and saving more money. Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner Canna Campbell and today I want to talk to you about capsule wardrobe fashion because this is definitely an area in my life where I've actually saved a lot of money and I know it sounds really contradictory that a financial planner is talking about fashion and clothing and shopping and accessories and shoes but I am a normal everyday girl. I really appreciate fashion. I appreciate the creativity that's gone into it, the workmanship and how people can really put together key pieces and create this amazing ensemble that can catch people's eye within seconds. So I really love value use and appreciate fashion in my life to add value. But I feel like the traditional capsule wardrobe approach is a little bit stale. So I want to talk about how I'm looking at fashion in 2024 going forward. So the first thing is, is a check in with our values. What has changed? What new awarenesses do we have? What do we really appreciate? I know for myself, when I honed in on this and really paid attention, I realized that I have a greater appreciation for good value pieces that were well priced, not necessarily going for the cheapest item I could find, but actually stopping and asking myself, is this something that's going to go the distance? Am I going to be able to wear it for many, many years? And is the price reasonable? And also is the quality there? Is it going to still look fresh and new or is it going to look tired and tatty after a few washes? So for me, really looking at the quality, looking at the price point, but also looking at customer service. I think it's great to have somewhere you can shop where if something goes wrong, it falls apart, it shrinks, you can go to them, have a conversation with them and they can either replace that item or give you a refund. I think it's really important in this day and age that customer service is essential. So for me, probably the number one place I shop is actually the Iconic because they have a brilliant customer service. Also, I can sit and think about particular items that I want to buy before I buy. So I can add things, for example, to my wish list if I want. And of course, we can all go and do reviews of particular items before we buy them. So we know well in advance whether to steer clear of particular brands or particular items that have a bad rep. So I recommend investing some time to do a bit of a quick check-in with your value system and shopping, fashion, and your own capsule wardrobe to see what you really do love, value, use, and appreciate in 2024. Number two is comfort. In the past, and I'm kind of embarrassed to admit this, but if it looked good on me, I was happy to turn a blind eye if it was a little bit uncomfortable. But things are very different these days. If it's not comfortable, my body physically repels that item and then I never wear it. It sits at the back of my cupboard and is a complete and absolute waste of money. So one of the first things I do when I try something on or I bought something and it arrives, I try it on and I ask myself, is this comfortable? How does this feel on my skin? Is it soft? Is it rough? Is it too tight? Is it digging in? Is it enhancing a particular part of my body that I don't really like or part of my body that I really do like? I need to be feeling comfortable both physically and in my own skin if I'm gonna wear something. So pay attention to what your body and your skin is telling you. Number three is sustainability. I know this is like a hot topic right now, but for me, sustainability is a two way street. Of course, paying attention and trying to prioritize brands that are really trying to do the right thing. Looking at fabric such as linen, that is a natural fiber and choosing organic cotton over regular cotton that doesn't use fertilizers and pesticides. And then of course, prioritizing fabrics like modal and tinsel that are actually made by renewable plants. And of course, paying attention to what are the policies within the company? Do they have a fair workers agreement? 
Do they have gender equality? What other initiatives do they have to be able to give back to the planet as well as the community? Supporting those brands, even if at times it means paying a little bit more, I am happy to do so because it matches my value system. Now, one particular brand which I'm really impressed with that's not only making beautiful pieces that are very classic and versatile and timeless, but have a great sustainability policy, and that is JAG. JAG has been around for years. I remember being a teenager admiring JAG and it kind of, I don't know, went missing, but it's back and they have the most incredible collections and I got to see how they actually design their key pieces and how they really have an incredible policy that reduces waste. We'll actually design a particular item and it won't go into production until it is absolutely perfect. So there's none of this wastage with samples and things that have got errors and, and fabrics just being completely wasted and ruined. They're investing their time intentionally making pieces that are going to suit the modern day woman and man. Four is ratio. So this is something I've spoken about in many capsule wardrobe videos of mine, but it's about paying attention to our real life and not our fantasy life and making sure that our wardrobes actually are in harmony with our true ratios. I know in the past when I was in my teenage years, in my early 20s, I would love to go and buy party dresses. I had so many party dresses, so many inappropriately short mini skirts and revealing tops, which I thought was really cool at the time. But that's number one, not appropriate for where I am right now. And that's not how I spend my time. So for me going and buying those things, they're never gonna see the light of day. I really have invested time paying attention to what a typical day, for example, three days a week, I work from home but I don't want to be sitting around in my dressing gown or tracksuit pants feeling like a blob. I want to get up and make an effort. So for me, it means wearing smart casual clothes. So it's about allocating a certain percentage of my wardrobe for those items. Then approximately half a day per week, I'll be going to events or catching up with friends. So I might want to wear something a little bit more pretty and fun. So again, a certain percentage of my wardrobe is allocated towards those particular items. So again, looking at the amount of time I exercise and those days where I like to stay in my active wear and allocating that to my wardrobe. And it's the same for the weekends. Most of my weekends are spent down at the beach, hanging out with the kids. So that's like bikini, swimmers, shorts, t-shirt, and a beach towel is so wrong. So it's really about paying attention to the reality of my life and knowing what I need. But of course, still at the same time, allowing a bit of flexibility, having versatile pieces that can fit into various categories of my life and paying attention to quality over quantity. And then finally, what I'm calling my TLC me project. So the end of 2023, I felt a little bit burnt out and a bit blah and I was really happy with what had happened in 2023 and proud and I'd really, it'd been a very hard year for me, but I really felt a little bit empty and I felt like I had kind of let a part of myself go where I stopped prioritizing things that I really should prioritize. Like for example, I would put off getting my hair cut even though I had ratty, ugly split ends for months and months. I would constantly, you know, delay getting just a really simple 15, $20 file and polish of my nails. I would forget to do like a hair mask, which would stop my hair looking dry and brittle. So to help, I guess, incorporate this into my refresh of 2024 capsule wardrobe, what I have started to prioritize as part of this TLC me is, when you do invest time taking care of yourself, getting a haircut, just filing your nails at home, giving us them a fresh coat of paint at home, tweezering your own eyebrows, putting on some fake tan, using a face mask and a hair mask in the shower. When it comes to putting on those items in your wardrobe and putting together those outfits, you're no longer wearing your clothes, but you're actually styling your clothes. You're putting very powerful intention as to the, what you are creating and really giving yourself the best opportunity and the items the best opportunity that you own to really shine and elevate not just how you physically appear, but how you're also feeling inside. So that is it for this video, a complete refresh and different perspective on looking at capsule wardrobe fashion. I guess with more intention, more intuition and inspiration to be able to live a more mindful and meaningful life when it comes to putting together your own capsule wardrobe and personal sense of style and sophistication. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you next Thursday afternoon. So make sure, of course, you are subscribed. Ciao for now.